Salvation has always been about faith, always. In the Old Testament and the New Testament, salvation has always been through faith. If faith was not the thing that saves us, then nobody was ever saved and nobody will ever be saved. And now I want you to think about the Old Testament patriarchs. David, Samson, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Solomon, all those Old Testament heroes, Moses, Aaron, every one of them. If salvation was through works, none of those people would be in heaven. Are they all in hell now? Are they all in hell? Are they all false converts? According to Calvinism, they're false converts because they didn't exactly live wholesome, decent lives all the time. And yet, guess what? They were always faithful. Always faithful. They believed in the Lord God. They believed. They had faith. They had trust trust every time all the time and because of that they were saved because of their faith they were saved they were not saved through their wholesome living look at david david did some terrible thing terrible sins was he a false convert look at samson he did horrible horrible thing he liked philistine women he was a bit of a womanizer one might say killed hundreds and hundreds of men was he a false convert moses committed murder he was not a person who lived a sinless life was he a false convert look at jacob jacob did devious things he was sneaky and underhanded and, and he did some he, he didn't live like a holy man was he a false convert none of them were false converts because they all had faith 100% faith in God and God forgave their sins and God saw their faith and counted them righteous we need to remember that faith has always been what saves us when Jesus came he came and fulfilled the law he himself lived a sinless life he paid for all world sins all of them he was the propitiation for sin and his imputed righteousness is what God sees when we accept him by faith, not by works. Plus, the other thing is, we are Gentiles. We who are not Jews are Gentiles, and we are not subject to the law, even if we wanted to be subject to the law. The law was written for the Jew. They are subject to the law of Moses. How is the law beneficial to the Gentiles? Because it defines what sin is. It defines the holiness of God. It provides a standard of holiness to show just how far separated we are from the holiness of God and how incapable we are of living sufficiently holy to even approach God. That's what the purpose of the law is for the Gentile. We're not subject to it. It shows us. As Paul said, the law was a schoolmaster. It taught us what sin was. It taught us how holy God is. And that's the value of the law. But what the law doesn't do is save you. The law does not save you. The law only does those things I mentioned. The only thing that saves you is your faith in Christ period. Your works are as filthy rags. They mean nothing to God as far as salvation. So always remember that. It's faith that saves, not works. Thanks for watching.